to get into our interactive notebook. Um, we have not been in our notebook for a while, so you might need to update your table of contents, make sure your page numbers are matching. I'm going to have to go back and do mine that way later. But on Monday, I want you to cut out and glue our new heading on the next page in your notebook. The title is Numbers and Operations Fractions, and NF is in parentheses. So get our title page cut, trim around the edges, glue it down on your next page. Okay. Also on Monday, I want you to find your interactive notebook page that says Fraction Vocabulary. Fraction Vocabulary. Get that page trimmed and glued down on the next page behind your title for our fraction unit. We're going to work through this page and we're going to fill in, so you might want to pause my video while you're cutting and gluing and then replay it when you are ready to fill in all of your words. So we're talking about fractions and when we're discussing fractions it's important that we understand our vocabulary words that go along with it. So a fraction, what is a fraction? A fraction, a number that names a blank of a blank. A fraction is going to name part, a part of a whole, a part of a whole, or blank of a blank, or part of a group. Part of a whole or part of a group. We can see fractions both seen both of those ways. We're going to see fractions, we're going to work with them, where we have a whole shape that's been cut up into pieces or parts. And we're also going to be able to do fractions when we have a set or a group of objects and they have done something to part of that group. So again, a fraction is a number that names a part of a whole or part of a group. So looking at this first picture, this would be part of a whole. We have a whole rectangle that has been cut into four parts. One, two, three, four. This is like our area model, isn't it? This looks similar to area where we count those squares. That total number is always going to go on the bottom. That is how many pieces make up your whole. So I want us to write four because there's four parts. So that four makes up our whole shape. Now part of this shape is shaded and part of this shape is not shaded. The fractional parts are the pieces that I have shaded. So there are two shaded parts. So I'm going to put a two on the top. We'll talk about what that's called in our next word. So two fourths would be an example of part of a whole. Two fourths of this shape, of this whole, is shaded. All right, this would be an example of part of a group. If you look at this picture, we not only have one whole, but we actually have three whole pieces. So again, this whole group has three pieces. So this is my group. I have a group of three. That's my total. Out of this group, two of those pieces, or two of the parts, are shaded. So again, that number is going on top. My total number is going on the bottom. So I could say two-thirds of this group is shaded. So you see an example of part of a whole and part of a group. All right, let's talk about the name of each part of my fraction. So in the middle, you see the word numerator. Everybody say that. Numerator. What is the numerator? The number blank the fraction line. So this, the numerator, is going to be the number above. Now above means on top. 
on the top, the number above the fraction line. So it's always on top, okay? Tells blank, blank, blank are being counted or shaded. It tells how many parts. It tells how many parts are being counted or shaded. Just like here, two parts were shaded. Over here, two parts were shaded or two groups were shaded. So looking at this fraction again, the parts that are shaded or counted is our numerator. So our numerator here is again two because two parts are shaded. Okay, we're gonna talk about the bottom of our fraction, which is called the denominator. So our graders say denominator. Now a good way to remember denominator is with this D. Box out that D and write down. That's how I always remember the denominator goes down. The number below, because I just said it went down, so that would be below the fraction line, and it tells blank, blank, blank parts are in the whole or group. It tells how many total, and I'm going to circle that word, and I want you to circle that word as well, how many total parts are in the whole or how many total parts are in the group. So looking at our same fractional picture, our denominator is our total parts. It doesn't matter if they're shaded or not. So our total here is four because there are four total equal parts in the whole. So there's your three words you need to be learning and studying, a fraction, numerator, and denominator. That's everything you're going to put in your notebook for Monday.